Canadian airspace is the region of airspace above the surface of the Earth that falls within a region roughly defined as either Canadian land mass, the Canadian Arctic or the Canadian archipelago, as well as areas of the high seas. Airspace is managed by Transport Canada and detailed information regarding exact dimensions and classification is available in the Designated Airspace Handbook which is published every 56 days by NAV Canada. <laughs> Canadian domestic airspace The Canadian domestic airspace includes all of Canada and extends out over the Pacific, Arctic, and Atlantic Oceans. It is broadly divided into the Northern Domestic Airspace (NDA) and the Southern Domestic Airspace (SDA). There are three main differences between the two areas, the most important of them being that the NDA is designated as a «standard pressure» region while the SDA is an «altimeter setting» region. This means that pilots operating in the SDA will calibrate their altimeters to atmospheric pressure according to information available at airports and through weather services. Conversely, in the NDA, pilots calibrate their altimeters to 29.92 inches of mercury 1013 hectopascals regardless of the actual atmospheric pressure. This is done because weather information is not available for all areas of the far north, so it is better that all pilots use a standard setting in order to avoid collisions. Another major difference between the NDA and SDA is that magnetic declination is not used in the NDA. Because the magnetic north pole is in the NDA, magnetic declinations are very large, sometimes even 180 degrees. This is further complicated by the fact that magnetic north moves approximately 200 miles in an elliptical path every day. For these reasons. True. Tracks are always used in the NDA while magnetic tracks are frequently used in the SDA for convenience. The final difference between the NDA and the SDA has to do with the location of Class A airspace in each region. This is explained in more detail below. Canadian Domestic Airspace is the second largest air navigation service by volume of air traffic in the world, after the United States. Airspace classes There are seven classes of airspace in Canada, each designated by a letter A through G. Class A airspace exists exclusively between FL-180 and FL-600. Only aircraft flying in terms with instrument flight rules may fly in Class A airspace. It includes, therefore, the Southern Control Area, the Northern Control Area FL-230 and above and the Arctic Control Area FL-270 and above. It may also include any other airspace so designated by the Minister on either a permanent or temporary basis. For entry into Class A airspace, an aircraft needs a functional Mode C transponder and an IFR clearance. Class B airspace is any controlled airspace between 12,500 feet (3,800 meters) and 18,000 feet (5,500 meters). Occasionally, Class B airspace exists in other locations, though this is unusual. 
For entry into Class B airspace, an aircraft needs a functional mode C transponder and either an IFR or a CVFR controlled VFR clearance. Class C airspace is usually a control zone CZ for a large airport. These areas usually have a 10 nautical mile radius and a height of up to 12,500 above aerodrome elevation AAE. For entry into a Class C control zone, an aircraft needs a functional mode C transponder and an ATC clearance. Class D airspace is usually a control zone for smaller airports or aerodromes that has a 5 nautical mile radius and a height of 3,000 feet meters AAE. Airports in extremely busy airspace may have only a 3 nautical mile radius control zone. For entry into a Class D control zone, an aircraft needs to contact ATC. Some Class D control zones require transponders, and Norda flight is not permitted at night in a Class D zone. Class E airspace is used for low-level flight routes and for aerodromes with very little traffic. ATC is available, but is not required. Some Class D control zones change to Class E at night if the control tower shuts down. It is also high-level controlled airspace above FL-600. Any aircraft may fly in Class E airspace. Class F airspace is special use airspace. Any Class F zone will be designated either SEER, CID, or CYA. SEER stands for Restricted, SID means Danger, usually used for SEER areas over international waters, and CYA stands for Advisory. CYA zones will also have a letter identifying the type of activity in the zone, A, aerobatics, F, aircraft testing, H, hang gliding, M, military, P, parachuting, S, soaring, T, training. For entry into a SEER or SID zone, an aircraft needs the permission of the operating authority. Pilots may enter CYA zones at their discretion, but are encouraged to avoid them unless taking part in the activity. Any airspace that is not designated as Class G airspace. This airspace is uncontrolled, and ATC is not usually available, though exceptions are made. Any aircraft may fly in Class G airspace, airspace classes A through E are controlled. Class F can be controlled or uncontrolled. Class G is always uncontrolled. Airspace is managed by Transport Canada and detailed information regarding exact dimensions and classification is available in the Designated Airspace Handbook which is published every 56 days by NAV Canada. Other important features Some control zones have unique procedures because of terrain or air traffic demands. These procedures are published in the Canada Flight Supplement. Another important feature of Canadian airspace is the Air Defence Identification Zone that surrounds North America. Saint-Pierre and Miquelon The terminal control areas of the French islands of Saint-Pierre and Miquelon are located within Canadian airspace. They are as follows 
The Class E airspace ranges from 6,000 feet AGL to 12,500 feet within the area demarcated by a line beginning at 47 degrees 19 minutes 57 seconds north 55 degrees 57 minutes 16 seconds west and ending at 46 degrees 55 minutes 53 seconds north 56 degrees 07 13 W, then running clockwise along a circle with a radius of 10 miles centered on 46 degrees 45 minutes 47 seconds north 56 degrees 10 minutes 27 seconds west. The control area for St. Pierre is the airspace to 2,000 feet 2000 AAE within a circle with a radius of 6 miles centered on 46 degrees 45 minutes 47 seconds north 56 degrees 10 minutes 27 seconds west. The area above 12,000 feet is controlled by NAV Canada.